Hello, 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 my sassy soul sisters and friends. Welcome back, Sassy here. And we have another unboxing for you today. And honestly, I don't know why, but I thought I did this box yesterday when I did all the Witch's Moon's boxes, but this is the Witch's Moon box by the Witch's Moon. Yesterday I did their Ostara box, their Sabbath box, um, and I also did the Roots and the Bounty, which I loved the Bounty and the Roots box. I thought they were amazing. So yeah, let's get into a little Witch's Moon. We have our box inside of the box. love this box with the witch's runes everywhere. It's a nice stash box to keep any extra things you may have. All right, so this collection is the exclusive witch's beesum. Witch's beesum. So I'm guessing we're going to get a beesum. 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 My oracle card. And it says... Her Herkimer Diamond. Oh, I am a diamond baby. That is my birthstone is a diamond. Raise your vibration. Discovered in Herkimer, I'm sorry, Herkimer, New York. Herkimer diamonds are tiny double terminated crystals. Even though they are small, they pack a wallop of energy. Manifestations of pure solidified light. Herkimer diamonds emanate a high harmonious vibration. They can purify your energy field, attune you to a higher frequency, and help you access the diamond light within. Oh, I love that. Affirmation. By monitoring my thoughts, words, and actions, I can raise my vibrational frequency. Well, that's cool. I think that's really cool. A diamond, baby. All right, then we have our beautiful artwork. The first one is Sweeper of Storms, and the other one is Amethyst, all about Amethyst. So, Sweeper of Storms, this besom shall be born, the Sweeper of Storms. May the magic found within bring change in all forms. May the evil swept out be cast to the winds, hurt and harm no longer within. And may the beauty sweep in be cast to the heart, abundance and love never to depart. And may this be some grant passage to the wandering worlds, to realms of spirit and guides, to the wild soul unfurled. And on this night, in the presence of the divine, I bind to this be some this intention right, as I will this be some, so mote it be. And that is by G. Ibis. Beautiful. And then we have all about amethyst and all its properties. Beautiful artwork. That is gorgeous. Then we have one more piece of artwork on top, all about the besom. In traditional witchcraft, the besom is usually composed of material from three different trees, ash wood for the handle, birch twigs for the bristle, and willow withies to bind the bristles to the handle. Other traditions encourage making a ritualistic besom if possible. Otherwise, find a besom of one's liking and making it your own. The first magical art after blessing a new besom should involve sweeping something good into one's living space. Placing the besom near the home's prominent threshold allows departed family and friends to better visit and communicate. Avoid sweeping during hours of rest to leave spirits undisturbed. To ritually clean the home, begin sweeping at the back door, moving counterclockwise through the residence, ending where you begin. Any collected debris should be disposed of from the back door. The front door leaves room for unwanted energies to return. If there is no back door, discard any detritus away from your property. For good luck, always prop up your broom on its stick end with the bristles up. Take heed of a fallen broom, for company comes soon. Oh, I didn't know it was supposed to be bristles up. 
Oh, that's interesting. That is definitely something new to me. I, yeah, okay. So history, the association between the common broom and flying has origins rooted in European medieval folklore and history, particularly stemming from the witch hunts, the Inquisition. Rampant belief in witches and witchcraft inspired various fantastic superstitions and fears, from the summoning of storms to the blightening of crops, or the poisoning of livestock to sickened neighbors, the witch was omnipresent and omnipotent. The infamous text, the Malus Maleficent, oh, I'm sorry, Malus Maleficarium, 1487, helped to stoke the hysteria and included descriptions of packs made with the devil or village taking flight on broomsticks and pitchforks to can candlestany convene for the sacrilegious Sabbath. The witch concocted a special ointment, a witch's flight, to help them fly. This ointment or salve was applied to specific areas of the body via stick or broomstick. I remember, I think it was Hestia told me about that, and I never looked at the broomstick the same. Um, while the truthfulness of such accusations are doubtful, modern witches do attest a certain amount of veracity to the flying ointment, noting that certain herbal concoctions could feature hallucinogenic effects to induce a sensation of flying or floating, lending to the Im imagery of witches soaring through the air on broomsticks. A little history of the besom right there for you and then we have our candle so we got lime green in one gold in the other I'm gonna go with like maybe an orange let's see oh nope <laughs> I was wrong it is just a nice pure white beeswax candle it smells good, so I'm not sure if it's the incense that I'm smelling or if they anointed that, but we will see. And as you can see, we have some sage sweep incense. It smells like sage. So we have some incense. I have to say the other two incense that we got this month are so good. Oh, so good. Let's see what we have for our oil. Besom oil. Besom. Oh, I hear a little chip of something in there. I'm going to read what is in here. Exclusive besom oil. The special blend of oils and herbs were combined to carry the potent energy of purification and cleansing to act as a besom. This oil can be used universally when attempting to dispel, it smells good, negative and heavy energies. A couple of drops on the bristle of a broom will increase the impact of its magical use. Sage, clary sage, and spearmint oils accompany peppermint leaf, licorice root, and clove to create a fresh realization of well-being included within this oil is a quartz crystal to empower the seed of intention. In addition, a few drops of our banishing ointment oil have been included into this blend to charge its use. I definitely smell the spearmint and the peppermint in here. I love it. I love mint smells. That's just me. So we have that oil and it looks like this is our little besom right here. So it looks like they handmade their besom and then we have a little amethyst piece right there with a pretty ribbon of gold and purple and red. And it kind of looks like, you know, they sharpened the little twigs and did they paint that? No, I think it's just sharpened, but it feels like they might've put some kind of like maybe clear gloss or something over the um, stick. Yeah, we got a little besom. Let's see what they say about this. The Witch's Moon exclusive, nope, that's not it, exclusive handcrafted ritual altar besom. 
After more than a year of brewing in our cauldron of creation, our ritual altar of besom is finally ready to be acquainted with you. The materials used to craft this magical tool were hand-picked for the energetic impact within Ritual Workshop. The handle of this besom is made from a twig of the I'm probably gonna tamarindus indica. Indica, yeah. Tamarind pods have long been known to attract love when carried in a pocket. This handle and the energy contained within its wood provides a direct conduit to love in all its forms, pulling and dispelling at your will. The bristles of this besom is created from a mixture of the Eleusian plant and vetiveria roots. Eleusian, also called goose grass, is closely related to dreams, ancient wisdom, and prosperity. Vetivera root is an agent of tranquility and emotional calm. This combination of roots charges each use with a sense of magical transformation. Colorful twine has been bound around the top of the bristles, which holds an amethyst crystal. Amethyst binds our spiritual connection and reignites our conviction for all things that we choose to pursue. The spirit of protection can also be found within this, its magical core. The size of this besom is perfect for the altar or any sacred space you see fit. Although there are many wonderful recommendations for use for using your besom, we urge you to learn to listen to your intuition above all else. Find ways to use your tools so that it seems effortless and true. No matter the season or the changing tides, may this besom act as your constant companion in magic, flying you towards a profound life and grand adventure. All right, so that's a little besom. Put it over there. Let's see, what is this? Panakia's Peppermint Secret Soap. Mm. That's interesting. Oh wow, looks like a really thick, nice bar of soap. Oh, it smells so refreshing. I love this smell. So when I get bars of soap, I usually leave them by the kitchen sink. So we don't have to use, you know, the Dawn liquid detergent when we're washing our hands at the sink. But I do, I do like this a lot. Like, I like that smell. All right, up next, we have another little baggy. Inside, it looks like we have some herbies. Let's see. We have some eucalyptus. Some Sacred Space Sweep Her Herbal Blend. And then some Spearmint. So three herbs, that's cool. I love, I love getting herbs. I've been using them a lot more now, so it's like I'm actually going through them. I wonder what's in this one, I wanna read. Sweeper of Storm, no, 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 that was the artwork. Handmade, oh, let's read about the soap real quick. So handmade Panikia's Peppermint Ritual Sacred Soap. We are beyond excited to share a new inclusion of sacred soap in your box. Use the soap to wash your hands or body preceding ritual workings or meditate practices. Peppermint leaves have been added to bring healing to heartbroken shores. May Panikia, Panikia, the goddess of cures and remedies, instill comfort and safety into your ritual preparation. This ritual soap has been created with olive oil, soybean oil, coconut oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, organic shea butter, water, lye, peppermint leaves, and fragrance created for external use only. That's pretty cool. And then we have, this is the one I want to read about. Where is it? Sacred Space Sweep Herbal Sprinkling Blend, a potent mixture of blessed thistle to protect and heal, vervain for peace and purification, bonset for exorcism, <laughs> we need an exorcism, and sage for wisdom and wishes has been unified to create a very powerful sprinkling blend for your altar. Simply sprinkle and then brush with your besom until each herb has been cleared from your space. Recite a personalized intention while performing this effective ritual created for external use. And then we have our spearmint, a warden of healing and protection. Spearmint offers a sense of peace and respite during periods of uncomfortable emotion. 
perfect timing. <laughs> For vitality of mind, we enjoy keeping a small bag of spearmint nearby to quickly smell before beginning creative and thought intensive projects intended for external use and ritual use only. And then eucalyptus, sprinkle eucalyptus within an offering bowl or on your altar to cast protection around your workings. You will find the soothing and healing properties of this herb a wonderful welcome on any adventure through the shadows, bringing completion to bothersome worry. The planet is moon, elemental correspondence, water. And these are all for external use. All right, let's see. And then it looks like, lastly, ooh, is that a hardcover? You, mm, your girl loves a hardcover book. I do. I love a hardcover book. I don't know why I just prefer them over, I mean, I love all books, but something about a hardcover book, you know? So we have The Witch's Broom by Deborah Blake, The Craft, Lore, and Magic of Broomsticks. It's actually a pretty thick little book. A clear, lucid, and ethical guide to the art of the broom. It says, bless the witch and bless the broom. Bless the spirit that lies inside. Sweep and clear each household room so peace and harmony there reside. Oh, that is cute. So it's, it looks like it gives a little history. May you take flight upon the witch's broom, bringing magic and wonder into your practice. Blessed be the witch's moon. That is so cool. I love when they um have their things inside. Praise for the witch's broom. So do not sweep toward the front door or you will sweep out your good luck. Maybe that's been my problem all this time. Look at how cute today's specials. Oh, little kitty, Check little kitty. That's so cool. And that looks like that is the author, Deborah Blake, which is broom. For my grandmother who proved that love was the greatest magic of all. Oh, that is so sweet. So it looks like brooms in history, tradition and lore, the witch's broom in popular culture, the broom basics, a broom of your own, fast and easy spells, charms, crafts, and more, specialty brooms, brooms for special occasions, brooms in ritual use, and for the young witch. The witch and her broom. Cute, I just wanna do a quick little flip through. I like that it has, oh, it has the um, bookmark thing here too. I like when books have that. Make my garden grow spell. Interesting. How to make a broom. That's a cute little book. All about the beesums. Welcome to my studio. Huh. That's interesting. So yeah, got a cute little book. Almost 300 pages, wow. All right, so that was, what are we in, March? <laughs> what are we in, March? March's um, The Witch's Moon Box. I mean, it was cute. Um, I do like the book a lot, and I do like the soap. And I don't know what they've been doing with their oils, but their oils smell really good this month. Um, the last, I forget if it was the roots or the other one that I liked. It was the first one I opened, which I think it was actually the bounty one that I really like. This one smells really good too, but then again, if you don't like mint, you won't like it, but I love mint. So I really am digging this. Um, I'd have to say out of all the boxes that I received this month from the Witch's Moon, um, I know they're all priced differently, but I really enjoyed the Roots box with the little Fea statue. I just thought that, I just, I don't know, those little mini statues, there's something about them. They're so cute. Um, and of course, I loved the bounty necklace. It, it was gorgeous. So yeah, I mean, out of all three boxes, this was probably my least favorite. Um... And there's nothing wrong with this box at all. It is a very nice box. I really do, you know, 
I love books. So I'm almost wishing, and maybe it's just because I've been wanting to be more creative, but I'm almost wishing like they gave us this in pieces and had us make our own to make it more ours. I feel like, I don't know. But I mean, it's cute. It is cute. I will probably keep this one upstairs because I have a little tiny one. It used to be on the back of my door, but now I have my um, Bridges Cross that Beth gave us all, all the sisters of Bridges Cross. So now I have that hanging on the back of my front door. And um, maybe I'll put this on the side of it to keep it over there for my altar for up here because I have like two besoms already for downstairs and then I have another one that I'm giving to a friend that I haven't opened yet. I'm like besomed out. But yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a cute box. Um, yeah, I just, I enjoyed the other two definitely more, but I do like that they're stepping out of the box and like doing different things. Like the soap was pretty cool. I like that idea. It smells really good too. So yeah, that's just my thoughts. You know, we're not all going to think the same. But that, yeah, so that's all I have to say about this box. I mean, it's nice. I love that we have some sacred space sweep and the herbs. And I always, always love their artwork. I'm actually going to look this up now because I kind of want to know what oracle deck this is from excuse me i got the hiccups and i don't know why <laughs> it just came all of a sudden um but yeah i would like i would like to know what deck this is from i'm sure it tells me in there so yeah those are my thoughts on the witch's moon i will probably i have to work tomorrow but i think i might go live tomorrow because i received one two three boxes from spiral rain and i would like to do them all in one video and i know <laughs> that this is gonna be a very long video so i figured you know what heck i'll just go live and whoever can join me can join me and if you can't you can't it's cool it's just because that video will probably take me three days to upload because the videos that i made um I forgot what day I made them. I think they didn't upload until yesterday night. So I don't know what's going on with that. I feel like, you know, YouTube's taking way longer than usual. Like I'm used to like the six hours, eight hours, but <laughs> like a day and a half now to upload a video is ridiculous. So I'm like, I don't know if it's because my videos are long or what, but we'll see how long this one takes to upload. Um, But yeah. I will go live tomorrow with some boxes. I also have a box from Sugar Muses, the Midnight Muses Deluxe box that I need to open. And then I have a couple of beauty boxes too. So we'll see. I'm definitely going to do the Spiral Rain tomorrow though because Sunday I'm dedicating to finishing up my downstairs room and I don't want to open up my boxes so I can find places for everything and get a little bit more organized. I'm halfway there. I'm actually taking little videos here and there. So you guys can see the struggle is real, folks. And then I have my piles of things. Poor Sam, um, not from the UK. Sammy, Valit, the poor thing has probably been waiting. I don't know, it's probably been six months now. I don't even know. For me to send her. <laughs> magazine and I have it in the corner I have two of them already for her so if I have another one from this one I'm, I gotta send it out I'm, I'm so horrible lately it's just I don't I'm sorry guys I really am I just don't I don't have it in me to do like manier task like I just but I'm working on it I am working on it and I will get that out to you Sammy thank you for being so freaking patient oh my god she probably gave up on me she's like yeah this girl ain't sending me nothing but I promise when you least expect it it will show up I mean just ask Kesty and Disco it took me until February to send them their Yule gifts so yeah um I'm usually not like that I don't know what's going on these past few months I mean I do know what's going on but like I'm sorry that's all I gotta say. I'm sorry. 
I will do better eventually when I get my shit together. I actually wanted to do a video for you guys today of um, me working out. I, I was all pumped to like work out when I came home today and then I ended up doing like six loads of laundry and cleaning my house and then after that I didn't want to do anything else so I took a shower and was like hmm. We'll try again tomorrow after work. We'll see. So yeah, I, I have I have lots of things that I want to do. I just don't have the time to do them, unfortunately. But I will. I have piles. I have things I have to send out. So I'll be doing that over the next however long it takes me. I don't even want to give a time frame. But I, I am working on it. I see it. I actually got the packaging. So I'm halfway there. I just have to like put everything together and tape it and send it out <laughs> sometimes the struggle is just so real I can't but yeah um so I just babbled for like I don't even know how long because I wasn't paying attention so yeah let me know what you guys think of this box I'm sorry that I haven't been myself guys I am so working on it I really am um I want to say thank you. There's some sisters that have reached out to me and I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys thinking of me and I still haven't read any emails so please don't get mad at me if you emailed me and I haven't gotten back yet. I just, I mean, I look at it and it says I have 30,000 emails. It's kind of intimidating and then it makes me spiral a little bit but... I promise I will get to them this weekend. That is one of my goals is to get to my emails and get back to you guys. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to go to bed since I have to go to work early tomorrow. And I'm just kind of like talking to myself. It's like I want to talk to you guys, but I have nothing much to say because I just feel so blah. So, yeah, it is what it is, right? We'll get through it. We always do. So let me know what you guys thought about this box. I'd have to say my favorite item from this box is the book and actually this card. And I mean, the book and the soap. And I'm very interested in this deck. So yeah, I must have said bye five times. So now I really mean it. Peace, love, please spread some kindness. Be kind to one another. This world is so... Ugh, you know, like we're all we're all going through it. We all are. So just just a little smile, a hey, how was your day? You know, it doesn't even have to be anything crazy. Just, you know, I like your shirt, nice hair, pretty eyes. Give someone a compliment. Just make somebody's day by saying hello to them or waving hi or you know, quick compliment. It never hurt. It ain't going to hurt you. You know what I mean? So just spread a little kindness. You never know what that person is going through and it might actually just make their day. So yeah, until next time, peace, love, stay sassy. Bye.